Tonight we continue to follow House Bill 68, which will go into effect in three months. That bill banning gender affirming care for minors that includes surgeries and medications. Now many families say these restrictions could be detrimental to their children's health. Tin TV political reporter Doug Petcash in studio tonight after being at the state house for yesterday's override vote. And Doug, you heard from a mother whose child is transgender. Yeah, Andrew, the bill goes into effect, as you said, in 90 days from yesterday. And now related clinics in Ohio will have to decide in what capacity they'll be able to operate, if at all. Yesterday, I did speak with Minna Zelch, whose daughter is transgender. Zelch says her daughter ultimately decided to leave the state of Ohio because of how she was treated when she came out. Many Republicans and supporters of the bill say it's about protecting kids from making permanent changes to their bodies. It's called the SAFE Act, or Saving Adolescents from Experimentation. But Zelch says she's worried about the opposite, that it will restrict safe options for families looking to help their child explore their identity. Our family is the lucky ones because our daughter, who is directly affected, was able to leave the state, and we will make sure she gets whatever care she needs. Uh, my main concern right now is the families whose children aren't in that situation. Now, this bill also bans transgender student athletes from participating in girls and women's sports. The Ohio High School Athletic Association tells us there are only a few transgender students in the state of Ohio. We've reached out to them for an updated statement since they have previously told us they're waiting to see what the Senate would do. And now we're waiting to hear back.